Star Trail photography is something that is available to everybody. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, what level of light pollution that you have and what sort of phone you have. You can have a Huawei, an Android phone, an iPhone, it doesn't matter what you have. The one thing that unites us all when it comes to Star Trail photography is the amount of crap that's up there in the sky that just absolutely ruins your photo. I'm talking about airplanes flying through the sky, I'm talking about asteroids, shooting stars, I'm talking about all those SpaceX satellites that are up there and they all just ruin your photo. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix that. Pretty bloody easy, all on your phone, regardless of your phone. It's very good, it's very cheap and it's dead set easy. Let's get into it. Now to get these photos, it's absolutely simple as. You just gotta know how to do it. With the Huawei phones, it's, well, you've got a Star Trails mode set into that camera app. Very simple, put it on a tripod, point it to where you want, hit the start button, walk away. Come back in an hour or so and you've got Star Trails. With Android phones, you're going to need to download it into Volometer app, set up your camera app, so for 15 to 30 seconds each, Depending on the, on the light pollution that you have with the ISO, set your focus to manual. Uh, I've done lots of tutorials on this stuff, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. You're going to set that phone to take multiple photos through the evening. You might go for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, really up to you how long you want it to go for. The longer that you go, the longer the star trails are. So keep that in mind. And basically that intervalometer app is going to take a photo every 30 seconds, and then you're going to end up with hundreds of photos on your phone. Then you're going to use that light trails app. It's a sister app of the intervalometer app. Bring them all into that, and it's going to build that star trail photo for you. Pretty good, a little bit more work with the Android ones. With iOS, you've got lots of options here. You've got Reflex Pro Camera app, you've got Even Longer, you've got uh, Moment, I believe, does it, Slow Shutter Cam does it, uh, Nightcap app does it, lots of apps to do it. Some of them do it a lot better than others. So you're going to end up with that photo, but what you're going to end up with is these little out of the way uh, lines of meteors, planes, uh, Starlink satellites, SpaceX satellites, all these wonderful things that are just going to potentially ruin your photo. And this is how I get rid of them. What you're going to use is an app called Touch Retouch. And you've probably used this for other things before, um, for different sorts of photography, but I've never used it for Star Trail photography. So here we have a photo here, it's taken with the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the Reflex app. And I've set this up in Star Trails mode, and it went for about an hour, I think it was, when I took this photo. Now across the across the whole photo here, you can see a number of dashes. Uh, that vertical dash that's down there along the bottom, that's probably a plane. The one that goes across the bottom from left to right and it's a different sort of a color, that's actually the International Space Station. And I think that's kind of cool. And I'll probably want to leave that in there just to add a little bit of interest, more interest to the photo. You've got these lines that come across all different angles here. And the ones that are parallel up the side there, that's actually SpaceX, some of the SpaceX satellites. And you can see there how much they, well, they kind of ruin the photo. So what we're going to use here is the line tool. If we go down to line, and we're going to just put a line across one of those, and it's smart enough, this app is smart enough, it identifies that line, it's highlighted the line, hit go, bam, it's gone. And all it is now is a matter of redoing or doing exactly the same thing over all of those lines. It's very clever, and that's it. It is dead set simple. Move, out, move your finger across those lines, it's smart enough to recognize you want to get rid of those lines. And it's only taken me a couple of minutes and we've gotten rid of most of the lines out of that photo. It makes it 110% better than what it was. So Mr. Elon Musk can throw up as many satellites as he wants. We can get rid of it on our phone pretty bloody effectively. That's it for today, guys. I'll see you next week. Catch you later.